Dear Parliament members, human right defenders, and human right organizations, as you know, the people of Iran have been protesting for the basic human rights since September 16, following the killing of Mahsa Zina Amini. The Islamic Republic of Iran has responded to the demands for freedom and regime change with deadly crackdowns. This crackdown has more recently extended to the execution of prisoners as a method of deliberate intimidation and an attempt by the regime to deter the demonstrations that has swept the nation. My name is Hanya Azarbar and I record this video to bring your attention to the plight of four Kurdish political prisoners who are among those at imminent risk of execution. On 21st July 2022, in the Iranian province of West Azerbaijan, four Kurdish freedom fighters named Wafa Azerbar, Pajman Fathi, Muhammad Faramirzi and Mohsin Mazlum were captured and arrested by Iranian forces whilst carrying out political activities in support of the Kurdish population in Iran whose ethnic and linguistic rights are denied. Five days later, on 26 July, the Iranian Ministry of Intelligence confirmed the arrests. These four young men have been tortured and forced into false confessions, claiming that they took part in a mission organized by the State of Israel to carry out some attacks on a security base in the city of Isfahan. The confessions were first broadcast on national state television on 12 October and again for the second time on 5 December. They have all been charged with waging war against God for which the crime is execution. Unless we act and raise our voices to amplify this injustice, their execution is imminent. Raising their profiles and highlighting their cases can save their lives. As Wafa Azerbaijan's cousin, I plead with you to show your support to send the regime a clear message that Wafa Pajman Muhammad and Muhsin are not alone and the world is watching. I urgently implore you to act on their behalf, register the names on your human rights organization, or become political sponsors of our loved ones, as many other parliament members around the world have begun to become for the political prisoners in Iran. Do whatever you are able to save their young lives before it's too late. Their situation is desperate and so are we. Please be our voice.